Hi everyone, it's your boy Dunn coming to you live from a parallel universe where studios don't just hand people of color sloppy seconds of white characters. I'm way past sick, five miles past tired. Now, some people may be saying, hey, Anna Main, Miles Morales himself is a palette swap. How can you be mad at Jessica Drew and not be mad at Miles Morales? Yes, to be fair, he is a brown version of Peter Parker. Yes, that is true. And even though I prefer characters to be original, I can ride with a change as long as it's done in a way that is good or respectful and honors the original source and is something that has quality. But then we get to Across the Spider-Verse and this is the Jessica Drew we get. You take a character who has an existing fan base, someone who has a history of being who they are and looking how they look, and then you drastically change it. Whenever you adapt a popular character, the more you deviate from how that character is in their iconic version, the more you're playing with fire because you are always going to get backlash from the fans. That already is like going to be off-putting to people. Then you add the fact that they have the race swap. Now, because I'm not a Spider-Woman fan, I was only mildly annoyed when I saw them change her to, to black in this one. But it got even worse last night, y'all, when I decided to do a little bit of research about the character because it's someone I don't know a whole lot about. I wanted to see, was there a previous Jessica Drew that was black somewhere? And I found out there was actually a black Spider-Woman. Her character debuted years before Jessica Drew came in, into the picture. But she is an original black Spider-Woman. Her name is Valerie. She's a character from this crossover series between Spider-Man and the Electric Company back in the 70s. She only suited up one time, but she had previously helped Spider-Man during this crossover series to take down a few low-level criminals like the Vanisher and this literal bookworm. And she was so inspired that she took a spider outfit and modified it so that she could wall crawl. She literally saved Peter Parker from the vulture. You have this character. Y'all mean to tell me that there was an existing black spider woman, not just a spider person, literally had the same name as Jessica Drew's character, spider woman. So she was already there. She was already black. And also... She's a character who doesn't have a bunch of fans out here, okay? Most people don't even know this version exists. So you could have taken a character that doesn't have a huge history. You could have kept her as a non-superpowered Spider-Woman, so she would have been more of a brains and gadget-based person. And like someone mentioned on Twitter, she could have helped Miles develop that side of himself as well. You could have given her any type of backstory you wanted. You could have done anything with her. And it would have been genuine inclusion because you would have taken a character who ain't been utilized in 50 fucking something years, blown the dust out her coochie, and then plastered her in, on, a, on a fucking world stage. Then we'll be like, yes, yes, but no. That's not what they fucking did because they don't give a shit. They don't care. That's what so many people are talking about out here. It's not don't put black people in stuff. The Klan hasn't been relevant in this country since I was a toddler, okay? Very few people around here are that level of racist where they just don't want black people in anything. They're fucking dumb and they are irrelevant. We don't need to give them any more power than they already have, which is already less than 001%. But people don't have a problem with black people being in things. In fact, there are several people out here who like when black people are in things, myself included. That's why I got a shit ton of black characters in my stuff. What we don't want and what we're tired of getting are these lazy ass hand-me-downs, these fucking palette swaps. Those of us who want to see groups that we belong to included more, we don't have to wait around for the studios to do this shit anymore. This isn't the 60s, this isn't the 50s. We can write it, we can create the vision and make a little creative team. We can make our own comics, our own video games, our own movies. So for the argument of we need this because representation, Bullshit. In addition to the hundreds of black characters out here, many of whom don't get used because these companies don't give a shit, there are also so many people who are making new dope things out here that feature people from different walks of life, different ethnicities, cultures, and all that stuff. 
And I like when different demographics and different populations of people are included in things because that's the world we live in, okay? The world we live in is diverse. So in most things, there's gonna be people who come from different places and look different and all that shit. I just want it to make sense. I just want it to be good. And I want it to stop just being a shellacking of brown paint. That is not going to help anything. You could have taken this character who already exists and you could have really done something with her and you would have given people a whole ass new character to love who was also a black woman and everyone would win. Instead, you slap a brown cone of paint on a pregnant Jessica Drew, give her some futuristic jacket and a blowout afro and then you tell me it's for me. No. Sorry, I don't like that. I don't want that. The movie looks like it's going to be good. This version of the character may even still be good. And I, if it is, then I will say, yes, this was she was characterized well and she had good lines and stuff. But at the end of the day, the best that this character can be is a good deviation of an existing white character. And I'm sorry, but I would much rather them have just taken an existing black character like Valerie or make up someone for the movie, or whatever. I am tired of being handed the sloppy seconds from white people. I am better than that. My brothers and my sisters are better than that. And honestly, as much as I can't stand Hollywood, they are better than that. They have done better before. They can do better again. But I'm tired of waiting around for them to do it. So I'm going to just call a spade a spade. No pun intended. If you like what I'm saying, I think you'll like what I'm making too. So make sure you check out the description for some free content out right now from my upcoming comics. We've got a prologue for the Spider Circle, my fantasy adventure comic starring everyone's favorite pigtailed cutie, Catherine Scarlet. Just four pages, but a whole movie's worth of story. There's also the Bond of the Blade mini arc, my shonen action style comic about three ninja themed teen heroes who are empowered by an angel to save their city from gangland corruption and supernatural threats. This mini arc is a self contained adventure that takes place after the start of the story proper so that you can get to know the characters, their powers, and the world they inhabit. Again, all of this is free right now, so check out the link in the description and let me know what you think when you're done.